God bless AliExpress sellers and their ability to find authentic G2 pets and still have them in 2024 for sale. Hey guys, it's LPS Honey. Welcome back to a new video. I'm filming this at night, so if the lighting's a bit different, that's why. I quickly want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has checked out my latest horror film trailer. It was nerve-wracking to post it because it has been so long since I did something horror and I'm very excited to return to my roots. It's just really cool to see everyone get so excited about something I'm excited about as well. So I hope you will all look forward to it when the film inevitably comes out this month. But today I have a package from AliExpress which is incredibly exciting because not only did I manage to find a bunch of authentic G2 LPS, I was also able to get my hands on what I believe is a factory misprint. You might even be able to class it as a prototype. I don't know what the threshold is for that classification, but let's get into the pets and take a look at everything because I am so excited to show you guys. Oh yeah, we got some pets to get through. Straight off the bat, you can see that there's a bunch of G2 LPS, but there's also some newer generation pets. So we're gonna take a look at that and then go on to the G2. So I got a total of three G6 LPS in this package. I got these two Basset Hounds. This brown one on the left, I do already own, but the whole reason I got him is because I wanted to continue my Sanrio LPS customs. I've already made Pom Pom Purin, but this little guy I'm going to be using for it cinema roll. And then I got this blue one because I am actually quite a big fan of this Basset Hound mold. I think they're so adorable. They just look so sad and cute and droopy and I don't know. I think a lot of G6 LPS are very underrated with their molds. And the third and final G6 pet I got was this dog here. I believe it's a Chihuahua and I think it's from like the Fortune Pets. Um, because it has like this symbol on its head. It's very cute. I think the design is adorable I think it would have looked amazing in more neutral colors with this exact pattern But I do still really like it. The peach color is quite jarring Especially with all the other colors happening and like the metallic paint. There's a lot, but I think it's really cute and again, these G6 molds are just so underrated in my opinion. They had something adorable, but the timing was just wrong and it's so unfortunate. I also got this little pack of Teensies. These are new generation Teensies and they're a bit of a mixture between these jelly kind of flower themed Teensies and regular ones. There's 20 of them in total and this video isn't about the Teensies so I'm not going to go into detail on all of them, but I do want to say this little wiener dog is my absolute favorite. I think it is adorable and I'm so happy I got it in this bundle because they were sent by random. Now moving on to the G2 pets, this is where things get crazy. Starting us off strong, we have this ant. It does have a pretty messed up eye but it was very cheap so I can't complain. I can also fix that eye up pretty easy I feel like so I'm not too concerned about it. Other than that, he's in really great condition. The body looks very pink compared to the head on camera. It definitely is more pink, but not as exaggerated as it is. LPS ants definitely aren't my favorite, but I think this one's patterns are really pretty. And we have this little schnauzer. I do own this one, and the whole reason I bought another is because A, it was very cheap from AliExpress, and B, I really want to make a custom using this one's body. I think it's a really great kind of large sitting dog body that could be used for a lot of different cool customs. He's a very cute pet though, a little just friendly old man. I love the freaking massive bushy as hell eyebrows. He's just very sweet looking and I'd love to make a standing version of him so when I inevitably use his body for a custom I'll definitely find another body to use his head on because he really does deserve some love. Y'all, I can't believe I got this pet. So the next LVS that I got is this Jack Russell, and this is my favorite Jack Russell Hasbro ever made. He is so adorable. He was part of an LPS online set. All of the pets from that specific set are really unique and cute, and some of them had these little open mouths, and one of them was this Jack Russell, and I just think his design is like top 
left here he's this super pretty yellow color with these blue eyes he's got a little mouth and then he has paw prints on his ears in like opposite colors if my camera will focus like look at that a Hasbro 8 with these LPS online pets and I just wish they would have done more like them. Hopefully now that Basic Fun has the Roblox game we could see something similar kind of return with unique pets released in conjunction with the Roblox updates. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Albino Emo Cat, is there really anything else I need to say? I've wanted this pet for ages because I love Angora Cat LPS. I will say though, this one's head is very like janky. I think the neck peg is broken. Um, so maybe I'll try and replace that because he's very like short and wobbly. <laughs> He also has like one pink eye and one white eye, so I'm not too sure what's going on there, but once I replace the neck, he'll be as good as new, and I'm super happy about that because I freaking love this pet. Now let's move on to something a little more interesting. So you might be looking at this pet and thinking, oh, okay, a little cheetah LBS. That's cute. Nothing really out of the ordinary. But what if I told you this pet is different from the officially released version? And I can finally freaking do a side by side because I do own the original released LPS. And here he is. So at first glance, they look very similar, honestly, but there are a few subtle differences between the version I found on AliExpress, which is authentic, by the way. It has the correct neck peg, the correct magnet in the foot. Everything is pointing to it being a real LPS before anyone gets worried. So what are the key differences? Well, first of all, the AliExpress cheetah has bright orange hair as well as orange highlights in its ears. His hair is basically fluorescent and the highlights in his ears are very similar, almost identical orange that have a pretty much kind of gradient effect in them. Besides the hair, the eyeliner is different as well. On both sides of his eyes, they're smudged instead of being just a straight line. Unlike the hair in the ears, this smudged eyeliner could definitely be a manufacturing error. I still wanted to bring it up though because it's an interesting difference that it's on both eyes eyes and not just one. Besides that, the only other differences are just slight gradient differences which could really happen to any LPS and that is less white on the face and body but like I said that could just be a discrepancy in the paint which is kind of common back then. Underneath these LPS are the same and they both have clear neck pegs. Actually one more thing that I noticed while I was sitting here is that the spots are slightly different colors as well. The official released cheetah has kind of yellowish mustardy spots where the one from AliExpress has more brown spots. So what do you guys think? I'm obviously so freaking excited to get a pet like this. This cheetah is such an old G2 LPS and the fact that we're in 2024 and pets like this are still popping up online that are so mysterious is freaking awesome. Like I said, I don't know what to classify this LPS as, like a prototype or a factory kind of anomaly. I really don't know, so if anyone could help me out with that, please let me know in the comments down below because I really think this is such a cool pet to have. But let's continue with some just normal G2 LPS I found on AliExpress, and the next one is this snake. I love snake LPS. They can be pretty pricey though because there aren't a lot of them out there. This was one of the newer G2 snakes and I freaking love the colors so much. I have shoes that are very similar colors so this little guy is awesome. You really just can't go wrong with the pink and green combo. Then I got this possum who is just such a cutie patootie honestly. There's no other way to describe her. I love how she looks. She's the special edition one. Not too sure what happened to her special edition logo down here. But other than that, she looks amazing. I was also able to find this black and white corgi, which is from the Blythe set. These pets are such a pain to find for a good, decent price. So finding this corgi on there was like hitting the jackpot, uh, along with the cheetah, of course. But I think this pet looks so cool. I love the black and white pets to death. My boyfriend actually really likes this corgi as well, and I made him his own mascot inspired by this pet. 
And this one is pretty much in pristine condition. The second last pet I got was this little guinea pig. There's honestly not a lot to say about him. He's just a little guy and I thought he was cute. I don't think he's rare or anything like that. I just thought he was really adorable and I love their bald heads so I had to get him. Sometimes there really is no explanation for why I bought a pet. I just look at them and go, that guy's adorable. I want him in my collection. Thank you very much. And the very last LPS I managed to get from AliExpress in this package was the Grooviest Spider. So happy to have gotten this because I am trying to get all of the mod LPS, so the punkiest, the grooviest, etc. Uh, they also had the goat, but somebody bought it before I got the chance, so I missed out on that one. But I was super, super excited to get this one because it's another one off the list, and this one's condition is also great. I love how crazy this one looks, like with the little butt and all the legs. I don't know. I just think it's a really cool design. It's just very different to the regular G2 LPS spider. It's just a really cool design that I would have loved to have seen them do more with. It's a sick design and the body could be used for so many cool customs. It's just a shame that it's so difficult to find for like a really cheap price nowadays because it was only used in this one instance from what I know. And that concludes my package from AliExpress. I consider myself incredibly lucky with this package. I've ordered a lot of pets in the past from AliExpress. There was that whole wave of like new inbox pets that I got back when that was all happening. And since then, I've gotten a few packages here and there of cool finds like some blind bags and just loose LPS in general. But this package was really special. Not only was I able to find pets that I really wanted from my wish list, like like the grooviest spider and the Jack Russell from the LPS online pack, I was able to find an incredibly unique LPS with this cheetah. I've never seen him before and I've never seen anyone else with him before so it's incredibly cool to have found him on AliExpress and just been lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time. But like I said, if anyone has any info on my AliExpress version, please do let me know because this is a new find for me. I may get some info wrong but I really do feel like he is quite special. So guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed another little package unboxing from AliExpress. Like I said, I am so pleased and happy and just feel so lucky with all of the LPS I received. I've said it before and I'll say it again, AliExpress can be an absolute gold mine when it comes to LPS, but you do need to be cautious because it is littered with fake pets. But definitely check AliExpress out if you're trying to find pets for cheap. Uh, it could be a great viable option. Just definitely be cautious, please. I'm gonna leave you guys with one more look at the cheetah just so you can see the details. And like I said, if anyone has any info, maybe getting a better look at it will help. But besides that, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you soon with some very exciting videos. Bye guys!